In previous videos, we focused on extending standard SAP Fior Element floor plan and patterns. In this one, we'll show you that we can extend the usage of the flexible programming model to build freestyle applications. If somehow the standard floor plans delivered with SAP Fior Elements are not enough for you, if, for instance, you have some very specific use case, we still recommend that you create your application as an SAP Fior Element application in the application generator. This way, you can leverage our building blocks, our controller extensions, as well as the SAP Fiori tools. In this video, we'll create a pieces of a webshop application using the SAP Fiori tools and the flexible programming model. We'll start by creating a new project based on the flexible programming model floor plan. This is an empty project that is fully enabled with all the FPM features. Since we are building a webshop, I'm loading now metadata that contain products, cards, and those kind of things. Once generated, the application now can be opened as an empty page that doesn't contain anything for now. From there, I'm going to add a filter bar and a grid of cards to my application in order to show my products. I'm also going to adjust the mock data to show something a bit more meaningful and also add the necessary code behind so that the filter bar can be applied to the grid. Since this is now a few element application, I can also add an object page as a second page in order to display the product details. And I can also enable the flexible column layout in order to show the two pages side by side. And now using the extension API, I can easily navigate to my product from the main page. Finally, I'm also going to add a checkout page, which is going to be a custom page, and configure the navigation directly from the manifest. So I'm adding the necessary route object, which will show both the main page as well as the checkout page. And I'm configuring the navigation target for the checkout page, which will point to a custom page called Checkout Page. This page contains a table and a form. I also need to add the necessary button and configure the navigation to be able to access it. So now this is all well and nice. By using the flexible column layout action building block, I will now add the necessary actions for entering full screen or closing the page also on that custom page. This video marks the last entry in this flexible programming model series. However, we will be back soon with more content related to SAP Fior elements and the flexible programming model. Stay tuned.